Isn't this a great spring look? Okay, first off, let's talk about this lipstick. Would you wear Coral Bliss? What do you think? I like this. to share with you one of my favorite color schemes for spring um, when it comes to my eye look. Now I've already got kind of kind of half my face done. Now I'm gonna teach you how to do this side. So let's get started. We are gonna use a purple look today. I don't know if you can see on this side. Okay so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to get a base on my eye with a base color eyeshadow. This is called the Scotty. So tell me about your spring. Are you like spring cleaning? Are you thinking about spring makeup, spring clothes, bathing suits, um, shorts, <laughs> new wardrobe? Are you one of those people that switches out clothes from season to season? I, my tendency is I switch up to bright colors when spring gets here. And so I can tell like, you know, today I'm wearing yellow um, because I'm ready for color now. All right, so we've put biscotti just with this all over color brush. And I just use this to get like everything even on my eyelid. And I do that all the way up to my brow. The next color that I'm gonna use with, use with a different all over color brush is this sweet little color right here. It's called Toffee. It was one of our limited edition colors a while back and it is a perfect base, like eyelid color for me. And it's also a good transition color. So I'm not putting it as far up. I'm just putting it right on my eyelid. So what colors do you trend, tend to? Uh, I, in case you don't know, I have five children. Four of them live at home. And so usually they know when I'm recording because I don't like their hair always when I'm recording. Usually they know and we can kind of keep it quiet. But today, if you heard that, you might be in some for some surprises. Okay, so um, that is my base color, toffee. Okay, so I just put that as a base. I want—I didn't want that light, that lightest, lightest base, but I wanted something with a little more color there. All right, this is when it gets fun. This is when it gets fun. All right, iris. This color is called Frozen Iris. It is so pretty. All right, this is a crease brush, meaning it goes in the crease. You can use it in the crease of your eye. I have hooded eyes, so... I use it just a little higher than my crease. I didn't get very much on there. What is happening? Why is no color? I guess I wasn't pushing hard enough. Here we go. So I would use it a little higher than my crease because with hooded eyes, that skin folds in right underneath your brow bone and then you can't see anything. So see, I've just kind of lined above my eye with this really nice, it's a light color, but it's lavender. It is the prettiest lavender. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of angle it so that I'm making like a bit of a triangle here in with my la into my lash lines. I need to get a little closer. I don't know why I don't feel like it's not coming off quite as dark as it did on the other side it's weird okay so see how light that is and just how and also one thing I do is I use the narrow part of this brush and I go in and just kind of fill that in just a little bit to get that color so you could stop here if this was enough for you, but it's not enough for me. So I'm gonna take a crease or a smudger brush and I'm gonna go in with Sweet Plum 
This is just a color that's just a little, it's a little bit darker of a purple. Just press that in and we'll go in and clean that up uh, in a minute. I didn't knock my brushes off before I started using them. I usually like tap it so the little fallout comes off. And then I just kind of, as after I apply that right on in the outer edge, then I just like will pat it up into where that lighter color of lavender was and push it, I push it a little bit more into the crease. And then something fun that I like also like to do is because I don't like, I like there to be kind of a transition. So I go back in with the toffee and just create a transition there. Oh, we got a mess. I got a mess. Mess on my eyes. Come on. Who is teaching this tutorial? Gosh. I do a lot of blending and rubbing back and forth. Go over here and the same there. Okay. okay, so I'm just gonna take my eye makeup remover and get a little bit of that on that Q-tip and take that off. I don't know what happened here today. Messy, that's what happened. Just got a little messy. The cool thing with makeup is it's not permanent. So just clean it up. Clean that stuff up. And then I need to just probably go back in with just a little bit more makeup. There. Okay, and I'm seeing this needs blended. Now we are ready for eyeliner. This is my favorite eyeliner. This is waterproof liquid eyeliner. And I love this eyeliner because I can get right up against my lash line. You can just do a short little like lay it on and then drag it, lay it on, drag it, lay it on and drag it. Like with liquid eyeliner, you don't want to try to get a solid line like you have to kind of like do short little strokes. Brow, I already did brows. And so for this look, I am using the Mary Kay Lash Intensity Mascara. And it is a thick, bold mascara. And it has a wand like so. It's really big. And um, it has different angles of different sizes and lengths of brush bristles. And so that helps you just see. get a fuller lash look. Helps with the volume, fullness, and length. I mean, it's kind of a one-stop shop mascara. I don't do it on my bottom lashes. Do you do mascara? Leave me a comment on your, my, on, leave a comment and tell me, do you do lash, mascara on your bottom lashes? And if you do, why do you? Cause for me, I don't, it makes my, kind of just always bleeds underneath. I think, you know, sometimes some people have that problem, mascara just bleeding, but um, you probably don't if you always wear it underneath. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure and subscribe and let me know that you're here. Um, this, the comments are where I kind of get to know you, get to know about you. So tell me how you found my channel and if there's something that you would like to see on this channel. I would love to hear that. I So next up is this Juicy Peach Blush. Juicy Peach, I'm using this contoured blush brush. And tools are really, oh, tools are really important when it comes to wearing color. Um, they just make it 
blend like you can just blend when you have the right tools when you have brushes that are higher quality like used to i didn't think that but then when i started using better products i was like hmm, there's something to that so sometimes i like use this curved part to put the product on and then i'll flip it over and just kind of blend it up into my hairline like that i don't know if anybody else ever does that but that works for me do just a little of this angel dust translucent i call it angel dust translucent powder it just knocks the shine off sets everything i like my makeup to look pretty shiny but um that was a little too much gives it a more finished look do you wear a lip liner i almost always wear a lip liner and i take it like on the outer edge of my lip line so my lips look just a little bit fuller now I'll show you a little lip trick too. I fill my lips in with my liner, but I leave the center open with no product. And then usually I'll take, oh wait, I do have, I take a concealer, take this. I usually have a sponge I like blend it in with so what the intention is is you keep this the that part light because then when you put your lip product lipstick on it makes it look a little fuller and fuller and poutier puffier all right so coral bliss coming up for the very first time this is our true dimensions lipstick this is not a matte lipstick which I am used to wearing I'm used to wearing matte. Ooh. Ew. You guys, isn't this pretty? Hmm. Glad it's pretty because it would stink to have just put on this nice spring color look and then be like, ew, this lipstick does not go with it. <laughs> oh, I think I have a new summer favorite. Coral Bliss Spring. It's the perfect spring color. So I'm going to put on my favorite earrings. I don't put my earrings on until after because um, my makeup gets on, especially these earrings. These are made out of thread. And I don't want to get, see how my makeup could get on there and stain it. These are from Mama's Cameo Creations. She's one of my favorite jewelry makers that makes jewelry like this. And what do you think? Isn't this a great spring look? Okay, first off, let's talk about this lipstick. Would you wear Coral Bliss? What do you think? I like it. I like it for me. I'm going to be wearing it this summer. I'm used to a matte lipstick, so it might be hard. This is very creamy and not dry feeling at all. On my eyes, I use purple. Let me know in the comments. Would you or have you ever used purple on your eyes? And then let me know, would you wear rainbow earrings? <laughs> I will link all the products that we use today in the um, description. Also, something I'm, two things I'm so excited about in regards to how I'm serving you. First of all is skincare coaching. If you do not love the skin that you're in, I do private skincare coaching. And it's... Um, super easy. You just fill out a form. We schedule a time and we really talk about based on your skin type, what your skincare concerns are and your lifestyle. We talk about what your needs are. And um, that's one way that I can serve you. But the second way is um, something that I have called the Confident Beauty Collective. It is a private group that I get the privilege of serving. And it is a group of women that um, we are just in process of loving the skin that we're in, the bodies that hold us, um, the hearts that carry us, and the faith that anchors us. And so it is a lovely, um, just a lovely private community of encouragement um, for any woman who is uh, in a season of change and growth and maturity and 
I would love to invite you there. It is also the place that sometimes I'll offer um, specials and on products that I believe in, such as these that I just put on my eyes. But um, really, it's it's just a place that I can show you some some just extra encouragement in your life. And you can also show extra encouragement to the others in the group. And I just want to invite you there. Uh, it is the inside. It's really the inside. And so if you like what you see here, subscribe, but then go into the description of this video and get into the Confident Beauty Collective. So until next time, trying to think what is our next video? Oh, our next video is five Mother's Day pampering products that you can give as gifts. We will chat about those next week. Have a great day. See you next time.